What's up guys, Court Order here. You know, over the years, we found some remarkable things metal detecting on this channel. The oldest of coins, museum caliber relics, things going back to the earliest days of America and beyond that. But all that time, there's been one thing that sits at the very top of our bucket list and it's always managed to elude our coils until today. In this video, not only do we find our single greatest find in the history of the channel, but it's also one of the scarcest varieties known to exist. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Our holy grail of detecting items finally crossed off the list, and I will see you at the end. Later. All right, so this field is massive. There was a few houses scattered amongst the field. We're trying around each one. And out in here so far, just a shotgun shell, uh, a little bit of junk, but Rich got the first interesting thing. And- a Little square thing. Yeah, I saw it from a distance and I thought I saw a design on it when you were there's, brushing it. There's definitely a design. Oh yeah. Oh, and look at that hole on the right, Rich. You, uh, it's a, it, that's a fob. That's a small fob. Yeah, I don't know. And oh, wait, is there a bump out? On, oh. It's a little tab right here, too. I don't know yeah, what that is. Yeah, maybe a pin? Maybe. Let me see that design up close. Nice floral design. Doug, you're a big flower guy. What kind of flowers are they? Uh, let me... Is that a uh, lily of the valley? <laughs> I don't know either. That's cool though, Rich. That's gotta have some good age to it too. Yeah. Nice patina. Victorian at least. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wonder what it would be set on. There's a uh, yeah, little the, 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 this notch is, on the yeah, top and then really a clip weird. on the back. We were thinking maybe pin, but whew, I don't know. It's cool though. It's a nice little piece. I love yeah. the interesting relics like that. Yeah. Hopefully this spot's gonna work out. There was a house, bang, right behind you. Let's see if they uh, left some stuff around. JPG, Jackpot Jeff. A lot of people think it's Jeff with a J, J-P-J, but it's actually Jeff with a G. So it's J-P-G. I don't know why I'm even bothering. <laughs> Jeff said he's got something good. I said cool. Oh. 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 <laughs> Wait, what is that? First what? I thought maybe it was part of like a service ribbon, like a military ribbon. Well. But it's usually like. I think it's usually hard in between. It's usually like hangs off of yeah, a I ribbon, you know. Like a... My first guess was this bar at the top would have been in two holes and maybe it would like, you know, go up and down like that. Some sort of a flap, you know. It's got some fancy on it. Yeah, that's the, that's the, if it didn't have the fancy, I'd be like. Pfft. So it's a fancy. It's like a colonial pool tap. It's yeah, a, but this it's part, a fancy though, flapper. <laughs> maybe like some sort of a like a scushion or hole cover of some sort. What do you think? Oh yeah, 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 like a See lock. That? Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Thanks for agreeing with me, Doug. I don't know, it's interesting though, Jeff, and that does look Victorian. Nice little uh, wagon wheel design at the bottom. Pretty good find, was that a mid-tone? Yeah. That's good. Well, that means there's stuff around, Doug. Is that a good start? Yeah, check this spot right here. Well, I'm looking at my, I don't know if I have a machine on me or anything, but <laughs> check through my eyes. Looks good. Check with the camera. All right, Matt got something. I was detecting next to him with my headphones on, and I heard the ooh. And I looked over for a second, and then he grabbed it in his hand. It looked like it was a giant spoon bowl, but I didn't really get a good look at it. Let me see. He looks kind of happy. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Look at that. What from an ooh going on? This is an ooh. Look at that, Doug. That's massive, too, Matt. What do you think that is? Well, I think there's a hole right here. Oh, there's three holes. One, two, three. So it was probably nailed into maybe a piece of furniture or something. Don't know. Well, we're, we're got to be near the house site. Let's just uh, hope we can keep finding cool stuff like this. I would take this all day long. Nice job. Don't know really know what it is, but I know I like it. It's very small. Yeah, it's jumpy. Yeah, a little jumpy that way. Definitely dig worthy. Yeah. Possible wheat. Possible. What's that? Oh, it's an ox knob. Oh. Is that what it is? It looks like an ox no, knob. No, it's not. 
It may be, but I've never seen one that shape. That's what it looks like. It's solid brass. Maybe it's not knock snob because it feels like it's lead. Yeah, it's got to be lead. It's you really think? heavy. Well, I mean, it just, it feels, yeah, I mean, you feel the weight of it. I don't know what the heck that is. That heavy? Yeah. It's a big lead knob. <laughs> I don't know. That was your nickname in high school, wasn't it, Doug? Lead, lead knob? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting piece there, Dougie. Yep. Definitely lead. All right, Rich pulled something up out of the ground and he said it was a circle, but not a coin. So I'm hoping maybe a token or something interesting. Right here, just the back of it. Oh. Is that a piece of jewelry? I think it's a button, actually. That's a button? Yeah, there's the shank bent over. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and those are actually holes. Oh, they're not stones. No. Well, those are bumps, but in between where you see it looks like spokes, they're holes. We got to toothbrush it so I can get a good look at it. Yeah. I've never seen a button quite like that. Me either. All right, let's clean it up. Hang on. All right, there's Rich's piece, and that's a definitely an interesting one, Rich. I thought they were like rhinestones or something. Yeah. But they might just be bumps sticking up. I, they, they look like they're all cut, though, don't they? Like they're, They do. So I'm not really sure. Something in the middle, and like you said, there's holes in there, like it was die cut probably all the way around like a spoke. Yeah. And I never would have thought this was a button if I didn't see that shank on the back like that. Yeah. I don't know if it was a clothing button. What else do we put buttons on? Well, I mean, maybe it was like an adornment thing, you know, like <laughs> I always kind of go back to my reference of, you know, those buttons that sit on a couch or on some chairs that, oh, right. that pull the fabric in. I guess it's still a button, but that is really cool. And when you clean it later, I'm curious if they are stones. I do see a little shininess, but... Yeah, like the be. one at 12 o'clock. Whoops. <laughs> Let me see how long I got grass all over it now. Yeah, the one up at 12 o'clock looks like it was like a cut stone, you know? Like it's faceted. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. But... It might just be hammered. Yeah. Like I'm, hammer mark. I'm not sure. Very cool piece though, Rich. Yeah. Was that a nice tone on your machine? I don't even remember. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> But it made a beep, beep, beep sound and you it dug did. it up. That's it all that did. matters. Good enough to dig. Good job. All right, I was kind of far away, but using our elaborate hand signal, Doug <laughs> clued me in that he had silver. Yeah. Doug, show him our really unique silver signal. You it's gave me the big S. It looked like S curve. Oh, that's not a coin. I no, thought, no, I, thought no, I was going to no, see no, a coin. No, no, but I think it's silver. Based on the... It's not a smushed bottle cap? Uh, it's got some decorative on it. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. And... Oh, the patina at, for sure. Oh, I the, see uh, it. Yes. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, there's flowers on This is definitely silver. Oh, and the holes are up there too, Doug. You see the holes up there? Yes. You think maybe um, like well, a T strainer? Yeah, it could have been. You can see it was wider and that's been... Oh yeah, it's probably a it. round shape and smushed down. Oh, there's more flowers on this side. They went all the way around. Oh, pretty. That is nice, Doug. I yeah. totally agree that this is going to be sterling. Yep. It would have been it's, a nice, like a hollow wear type way, of piece. Way too tarnished to... Uh, what no, about an no. infuser? Maybe something like that. Yeah, something obviously that... that, that, that a cool. diffuser. Yeah, yeah. It could yep. be a diffuser. Infuser. In, what, I said diffuser. Could be that too. It could be... <laughs> D could be all in. sorts of things. But... It's definitely going to be silver. That's a nice piece, Doug. That nice is, design. I have no... I'd like to know what it is, but... Is that your first silver of the I, new year, Doug? No, no. I got... I don't oh, that's right. I remember what you got. I don't know if that video yeah. came out yet. It you got even better. It wasn't far from here. No, it wasn't far from here. Same permission. Well, it's your first silver... Uh, I don't even want to say. <laughs> awesome job, though. I'll say that, yeah. Doug. Well done. All right. Rich is, is on his way to out. He's got to leave, Ooh. but he does have a button. I'm Ooh. going to walk out in a second. And all that ooing you hear Ooh. is... Walking to Rich, Jeff had a 45 signal, and he's got a button. Dougie. It looked like it was a two-piecer. So you saw the one I got earlier today. I did. So this is the one I got a little bit ago, right? The general service. Boom. Oh, he got his big brother. Yep, two general services. This one's a cuff button, and this one's the front of the coat button.
I believe that was the third button down from the top. Very nice. Could have been the third button down. Because it has number there. three on it. Both have shanks, both are two piece. Nice, nice Jeff. Yeah, that was a nice 44 45 when I swung over it. And um, I thought it might have been a wheat penny. I knew it'd be something good for him. So I kind of hung out to see what he pulled. Rich said he's got a button too. I'm going to go see what he's got before he has to leave. But awesome job on the buttons. You've really been kicking some butt today with them. Nice job. Thank you. All right, let's see what Rich's button is. Jeff just pulled a beautiful two piece general service. I think this might be the same. Oh, that's going to be the same size for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it already. Is it general service? Yep. Almost the exact same one Jeff got. Well, it can't be the exact same because that would be <laughs> like a clone. But from the same article of clothing. Yeah, doubles at the exact same time too, about maybe uh, 80 yards apart or so. <laughs> nice deep. It is a deep one. And the only way you can really tell the age on these is from the back marks. Because that same design has been around for like 100 years. Yeah, and it could be like... Late 18s, early 19s. Yeah, right? you know, it could even be World War II. I think all it to World War II. The only difference would be the maker and stuff, and it's kind of dirty. You can't really tell. But it's nice military button, two in a row at the exact same time. That gives me hope that uh, maybe we'll get on some more of them. Well, hey, if you do have to leave, Rich, that's a good way to go out. It is. So uh, well done. I know you got to get back Thanks. to work. To check back to the van. Yeah, well, if you find anything really good, call me. <laughs> if not, I'll see you in two days. We're going to do it all again. All right. Nice fine. That's a good signal. Matt's really far away. Doug's even farther. I'm gonna live dig this. This could be something good. Maybe a coin or a token. Maybe a cool relic. like oh it's an indian it looks like it's an indian i see a wreath on it let me brush it up and i'll come right back with a nice close-up nice well there's my indian i gave it a little brush up in the field and it looks like the date might be 1898 or maybe 1890 i'm not 100 percent sure but i can see most of the headdress i can see united states of america i will definitely take that scratchy 4041 there's the back, one cent, the wreath going almost all the way around, shield at the top. So if I was going to dig a coin today, an Indian is a nice one. And at least I got into the 1800s, which is always a nice find. Well, this is my best sounding tone of the day. And look at that number, right by that one lone corn stalk. Let me kick it down. It's very small too. I'll bet you this is gonna be a silver or a large scent. I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna try to live dig it. Let's see. The guys are all kind of far. So I gotta one man show it. Let's see if I got it out. I did. I did. It's in this clump. I see it. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Ah, it's a Washington quarter. It's silver though. 1943. Oh man. Doug got a, a, a seated quarter. Matt got an SLQ and I got a Washington. That's still not bad though. I don't see a mint mark on it. It's got a nice little patina on it. I'm going to spray it down because it's the best thing I've gotten all day and we'll get a good look at old George. Hang on. Well, there's my silver coin, 1943, beautiful toned George Washington. That was a screamer. It was a nice 50, small, tight, solid, and I knew that was gonna be something good. I would have preferred a large scent, but I will definitely take a beautiful silver coin. It's, uh, it's got some wear on the back. 
starting to slick out mostly on the left hand side but you can still see all the detail looks the same as a quarter did 20 years ago but this is 90 percent silver they stopped making silver quarters in uh, 1964 was the last year so i got in world war ii era silver quarter that's a great piece awesome all right here's a better than expected relic mat this was like a 38 39 and i didn't think it was going to be a coin Ooh, I see it. you see it I already touched it with my hand, right there. Oh, it's broken. Uh, I don't know if it's broken or if it's like a, I can't tell. I don't know if it's a skeleton key or a, or if it would have been like a barrel tap key or a gas key. It might've been a skeleton key and if it was broken, that would stink. I will uh, give it a good brush down and take a look at it. But I saw that loop come out of the ground and I said, oh man, this is going to at least be something cool. Yeah, it looks like it's actually a sheared off skeleton key. It looks like it's busted up there. Darn. That's a nice find though. I thought it might have been a bottle cap or some aluminum junk. So that is a nice little treasure. Cool. Nice. All right, Matt came over and joined me because I was getting on some stuff. He got 10 feet in front of me, one row over, and he thinks he might have a seated dime. Oh my goodness, let me see. I didn't even clean it off yet. Oh, oh, it, it might be. I can't tell from my angle. Was it a nice screaming tone? Oh, yeah. It's very quiet out here, Matt. So when you go over something, you really do hear it. Is that a British coin? Is that a, like a four pence? No, it's a seed of dime. Is it? Yeah. Hey, maybe yeah. I haven't found one in a long time. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, my, uh, my eyes weren't, weren't adjusting to it. Yeah, that's a nice shape, Matt. Coming nice. from my angle, it looked like this, the flag was the head and I didn't know what I was looking at. Yeah. But now, now I definitely see it. Let's clean it up properly and get a date. Look for a mint mark. Oh man, that's nice. <laughs> I just called Doug over too. Hopefully he comes and joins us. All right, there's Matt seated dime. He cleaned it up, 1887. This is the second seated coin we pulled out of this field, Matt. Doug got the seated quarter. I forget the year on that. And now you got this beautiful 1887 seated dime. That is nuts. Yeah, I, I'm awesome. how I got a Washington. <laughs> the back, it can only be a Philadelphia or a San Francisco for this year. And I don't see a mint mark at all. Doug's finally coming over. But what a beautiful coin. Old US silver, Matt. Those are the best. Anything before Barber, I consider old because they're very rare even though in 2023 we're off to a really good start with now two of them way to go brother that's an awesome find well done all right awesome oh, you. oh you want it back <laughs> all right doug came over and joined us after washington quarter indian skeleton key seated dime so doug comes over to join the party and his I first hole i couldn't leave all those wheat pennies <laughs> where you find a lot of wheats over there yeah. well the book might be full yeah Doug said he's got a button, and I would. Oh, here I'll hold the I'll hold the flashlight. I'm trying to block the wind. The wind is terrible yeah. today. What is that design in the middle, Doug? I don't know, but it looks like it has writing. Yeah, writing around the outside. Shank. Design in the middle. Shank. A little bigger than nickel size. All right, let's brush it down and see what that image is in the middle, Doug. Yeah, it's, it looks this pretty is a new interesting. One. Yeah, it's a new one, at least for today. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. All right, there's Dougie's button, and it's a Philadelphia police uniform button. It's got a little bent by the plow, but I can see Philadelphia going around the top, police at the bottom. We found one similar in the Thousand Holes field, Doug, but I think yes. the design in the middle may have been different. Yeah. And it's a two-piece button. The bank, the back's got a nice shank. You can see it crimped over. You got the whole kit and caboodle. And the last one you found, you gave to somebody that was I related gave it to, to you. my uh, son's father-in-law, who was retired Philadelphia. That's right. Place. Well, maybe this one you can uh, keep for uh, you. Well, I'll give it to him. You can give this one to him too. Yeah, he, give he donated it to the police museum in Philadelphia. Oh, all right. Well, that's a beautiful find, man. I wish I, I, cool. I am jealous over that one. Awesome job on the yeah, button. Yeah, thanks, man. Well done. That one sounds pretty crisp. Possible wheat scent, Doug, and yeah. possible wheat thin. Well, it could be a wheat thin. I don't know what the heck this is. It's got some good depth to it, though. Did say wheat thin? I'm gonna dig it. I'm gonna dig it up, and if it's a wheat thin, I'll give it to Jeff. 
that's nice and old. Oh, I know, Doug. This was coming up a 43, 44. I called Wheat Penny. I pulled it out. It's much bigger. I thought maybe a large scent. And then when I looked at it up close, it looks like it's a dandy button tacoed over. Oh, it is. Because I can feel right here what I think is a shank. Oh, yeah. I can see it. So now I got to hope, Doug, George Washington. Yeah, I don't see anything on it. See, I thought I did see something. Yeah. All right, let me brush Be it and see. Oh, that I, up. I'm not going to be over in the field, but I am going to brush it real quick and look. I would love to get a GW. That would be wow. amazing. Who wouldn't? Um, I don't know. Good, good point. Let me brush it. All I did was brush it with a toothbrush, Doug. Now it's badly tacoed, but you could see up at the top if you look at my camera. Yeah. O N G. And then there's an L over there. I think it's going to say long live the king. I think it's going to be a George Washington I hope so. button. I, I, I can hope clearly so. see ONG up at the top, Matt. Do you see it in my camera? Long live the president. Long live the president. I see ONG and then I see an L over there. I think it's going to say long, long live, live quarter order. Oh man, I sure will. <laughs> I'm going to definitely have to open this so be careful. Gentile. But I can see that long live. Oh my goodness, Doug. I've oh, never no. found a Washington. None of us here have. No. None of us. That is amazing. I'm going to bring it home and open it real careful and I will have an update in this video because I'm 93.7% sure that's what I got. 93.7? Oh my goodness, that's my favorite radio station too. Oh. Matt came over too, because he, he's never seen one in person. <laughs> I showed him the ONG, so at the top is long. Right. Over here would be live. He saw down here the. So it's definitely long live the president inaugural George Washington button. Oh my God, Rich is gonna have a conniption fit. <laughs> look like this i believe uh, similar but you similar? see how yours is in a groove i don't think it's going to be in a groove like that let me see yours there were so many different variations i don't see that little oh that little groove oh, is it, can you clean that to see if there's well, any stamp in the middle there might be something it might just say gw i got to open it up first and after i open it then i'll work on cleaning it i hope it opens up okay i'm going to do it my best can, can you Heat it up in water and... In water? How hot does that... Water, you know, boiling oh, water. I mean, copper, to even make it a malleable, it's probably got to be a thousand or more Our degrees. first one ever. And how many years of doing this, Doug? It just went from 93.7. It's, it's, it's increasing. It's, it's going on. George Washington inaugural button. Seen better days. See it? See it? Oh, my right goodness. There. I'm going to block Matt's face out. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just got to hope that it opens up well. But that's an amazing piece of history, awesome. Doug. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, One in a million. I sure hope it is. We're still walking this field, trying to see if we can catch lightning in the bottle twice with two GWs. This signal was coming up at 2930, about the same out of the ground. And when I pulled it up, it's this tiny, tiny little cuff button. Ooh! <gasps> what is that? Oh, you know what? I think it's a, like a Jacksonian button. Jacksonians have that rim. A lot of times they have a face on it, but they do have images with that raised rim going around and they're usually about this size. And if it is a Jacksonian button, this is like 1830s era, which is really nice to get on a super old one like that. And I can feel the shank is on there, full shank. I'm not gonna knock the dirt off because this is a nice one. I am not finding quantity today, but I am finding quality. That is sweet. I'll clean that up really nice later too and get a close up of it. Beautiful 200 year old button. Oh, it's starting to rain. It's actually coming down pretty hard. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not, but I just found a George Washington inaugural button. I don't want to leave. So I'm going to try to stay for as long as I can. There could have been more GW buttons on that same jacket. So it's possible there could be more out here in this field. So I hate to leave. My headphones are not waterproof, although the machine is. So I'll stay as long as I can. If not, we'll have to come back another day, and try to find some of his buddies. Oh man, I feel so stoked. What a good find. What an incredible day and a total surprise to finally cross the GW button off my bucket list. Now I told you by the end of the video, I would try to unbend it so we can see what it is together. So let's take a look and see what I got.
All right, here's my button. And before I show it, I want you to remember how badly it was tacoed, totally bent in half with the left edge actually curled under. And that was the part that I was most nervous might chip when I tried to open it. But here's what I got. Boom. Now for anyone out there thinking, man, that's your greatest find ever. Oh, it totally is. And let me try to explain why without boring you. In 1789, George Washington was elected our first president of the United States, a brand new country. And to celebrate his inauguration, artisans made these special GWI, George Washington inaugural buttons that were gonna be sold at the inauguration event in New York. Now this particular variety is called the GWI-8 with plain Roman GW in the center and long live the president encircling the edge. I tried to put a picture up of the best looking one I could find, but there's only six to 10 known to exist according to Albert's record of American uniform and historical buttons book, which I know is a mouthful, but it's like the Bible of early American buttons. Now, of course, there were other really cool varieties that were also available at the inauguration, like this one, the GWI-1 Federal Eagle, has a date on it of March 4th, 1789. Now, that was a date that George Washington actually started serving, even though he wasn't inaugurated for almost two months later. Then there's this one, the GWI-4, the linked states with the script GW in the middle. It's probably the most eye-catching of all the GW buttons, but it has a rarity rating of R2. Close to 100 of them known to exist, where the one I have, only 6 to 10. Then there's this GW-11, the one that Matt originally thought my version was in the field. This also has the plain font, GW in the center, but it has an oval going around. This one has a rarity rating of R1, so there's probably a hundred or so, but even a hundred known to exist, absolutely incredible. And then my personal favorite one, the GWI 19, the Pater Patriae, which is Latin for father of our country. This one has a rarity rating of seven, which is the highest it gets. Only one to two known to exist. And five years ago, almost to the day, one of the specimens sold for a whopping $225,000 at auction. How crazy is that? So I'm absolutely elated by this find, and I know it doesn't look super eye-catching now, but I'm gonna send this off and have it professionally restored, and then maybe about a year from now, this might be sitting in a museum for you guys to go visit. One of the best and earliest pieces of Americana I could have hoped for. There is nothing more that I would have rather found. Totally awesome. You know, the odds are really against us that we'll ever find another George Washington button, even if we look for decades. But each and every time we go out, the possibility that we could find one is always there. And that's what makes metal detecting the true hobby of champions, the possibilities. So thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.